Alright, what's up YouTube? It's Matt Larson 10. Uh, coming at you guys with my first edition of News in the News. Um, sorry it took me a while to get it out there, but I thought I'd wait until there's a couple good stories in there, so I'm going to hit you guys up with the first story. It actually just came out not that long ago. I was watching TV, uh, noticed something on MSNBC, and thought I would cover it for you guys. Uh, this also is on CNN and a couple other uh, I guess other stations. Uh, basically, Latoya Jackson is claiming that Michael Jackson, her brother, that just died. If you guys haven't heard about that yet, uh, he must be living under a rock or something. But uh, she's claiming that her brother was murdered by a group of conspirators trying to get a hold of his fortune. Um, she also states that she knows who is responsible for her brother's death and is determined to see them brought to justice. Um, she also claims later in the interview that she was paid for one of her interviews that she gave to a British uh, newspaper, I believe. Uh, and also, Michael had $2.9 million worth of jewelry. Million. $2.9 million worth of jewelry. That is a shit ton of jewelry, I suppose. When, when you're the princess pop, though, it probably doesn't take much. Uh, but anyway, that's just one. I personally am sick of seeing all this stuff on Michael Jackson, but hey, I thought I would throw throw a little bit more news into there and uh, just kind of follow along with everybody else. So, yeah, right there, MJ was murdered, according to his sister, on the Straits time. I mean, it's a pretty legit site. So, uh, second one I got for you guys, covering, I'm sure you guys have heard about this, uh, the boxer, actually, that <laughs> was murdered by his wife. Uh, not really sure how good of a boxer he is, I mean, if his wife murdered him, but just kidding. Uh, sounds like he was actually murdered in his sleep, and his wife, of course, the weapon of choice, the purse strap. So, uh, what the hell is going on with women in this world lately? I mean, first Princess Michael dies, and now the wife kills the husband, I mean, it's, it's kind of getting sickening. Oh, Steve McNair, too. I mean, how can we forget about that? Steve McNair was murdered by his 20-year-old uh, lover, adulteress, basically. I mean, that's what it seems like. Otherwise, I also heard another news report, of course, that was from TMZ, so we can't really listen to that, uh, talking about how potentially the wife killed both of them and then put the gun underneath the girl. But I, I don't know. I don't really believe that very much. But uh, And then just some fun. Hold on. Let me find it again. There's one other fun thing. Oh, Prince Fielder won the Home Run Derby tonight. So I thought I would just let you guys know about that. Uh, my boy just or, uh, Joe Maurer unfortunately didn't make it past the first round, of course, when he got to go against Albert friggin' Pujols and uh, all those other big guys. It's not bad for his debut, so... Blake, you can suck it. I didn't see anybody from the Mets on there, so uh, talking shit to one of my uh, other buddies on YouTube. You should check out his page. It's Blake three one six. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. He's basically he's basically something kind of big. So, anyways, this is the first edition of News in the News. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.